How to successfully grow productive pepper plants. I seed started early January using a seed tray with a dome cover to help with germination. Once the seed sprouted, the dome is then removed. For strong indoor grown seedlings, I use a grow light. When they have about four true leaves, they are up potted and then topped off after one to two weeks. This encourages new branch to grow, which makes the plant stronger and be more productive. I then remove any early flowers so that the plant can focus on growing. By the end of May, the weather was warm enough and I slowly introduced the plants to the outdoor element. They are placed under shaded area for two days, then late afternoon sun for another two days, and finally full sun for two more days. By end of June, they are transplanted into their final spot. The mix I use consists of equal parts core, perlite, and compost. During transplant, I added chicken manure granules, gypsum, and rock dust for minerals. Then every month, I fertilize with a handful of chicken manure granules and I water every other day. For pest control, ladybugs took care of aphids for me. By July, fruits started developing and we had our first harvest in early August. Here's how you can save pepper seeds and avoid cross-pollination. It doesn't matter how close the plants are together, you can do this by isolating flowers. First thing you want to do is choose a branch with several buds of flowers that are close. Then using a fine mesh, cover it until the flower starts to open. And when they do, you can hand pollinate by gently running your finger underneath the flowers. Peppers and tomatoes are easy to pollinate because both female and male parts contain in a single flower. So all it takes is a little movement for the pollen to get into the right place. You can also do this to your tomato plant and avoid cross-pollination when saving seeds. When the fruit starts to form, you can remove the net and use a string as a marking. Wait for the fruit to completely ripen before saving seed. And when it comes to peppers, seed saving is a lot easier. All you need to do is remove the seeds but make sure to wear gloves when you're handling hot peppers. Let the seeds dry for 2-3 to three days at room temperature. You can then store it in an envelope in a dry, cool location. Yellow peppers, orange peppers, green peppers, red peppers, purple peppers, and these bullet peppers. What's your favorite pepper? None. None? <laughs> I don't what? like peppers!
Fermentation takes hot sauce to a whole new level and we're using orange habanero. For the brine, we're using 1 tablespoon of salt per 1 cup of dechlorinated water. Leave to ferment in a cool dark place like a kitchen cupboard. After 4 days, we stopped ours but you can go longer. Strain and save the liquid, we'll use a little bit for later. I really wanted to play around with the flavor so I'm adding crispy fried garlic and roasted tomatoes that we preserved earlier. Then I added a little bit of garlic oil, add a small amount of brine liquid and a half a cup sugar cane vinegar. After blending it all together, this one came out really nice. I like the flavor, I like the heat. My son also made me a personal hot sauce label and I love this even more.